Okay, so this time dumao naman tayo do sa second uh, major head loss formula natin or ito yung tinatawag nating Manning's formula. So yung Manning's formula was developed by Robert Manning who is an Irish hydraulic engineer. Okay? So the general equation for the Manning's formula is given by this equation. So paki-memorize na lang ito. So again, kagaya kanina magbibigay ako sa inyo ng tip. Ako kasi before, ito lang yung tinatandaan ko. So guys, ito is uh, the general equation for the Manning's formula for SI unit. So may iba pa siyang ano nito for English unit. So dalawa lang yung kailangan yung tandaan formula. And then yung again, ito mga to is na derive lang uh, using the this equation. Okay? So i-identify muna natin kung ano yung mga variable dito sa ating equation. So V is the wear velocity. Yung n natin is this is a constant o uh, ito yung roughness coefficient. R is the hydraulic radius. So guys, hindi ito yung radius ng pipe. Ha. So i- mamaya i-discuss ko kung ano ba yung ibig sabihin dito ng hydraulic radius. And S is the slope or the hydraulic slope. So i-discuss ko rin kung ano ba yung di- ibig sabihin dito ng hydraulic slope. Okay, so agaya anina, mag-illustrate lang ako dito ng pipe. So again, meron ang flow sa pipe kung saan maglalagay ulit ako ng piezometer dito. So, dalawang point na yan. So, again, kagaya kanina, let's name this as our point 1 and our point 2. So, considering the energy head at point 1, so we all know the energy head here is much higher than the energy head at point 2. So, because of the head losses, uh, because of the friction nga na nag exist dito sa fluid and the pipe material, so nagkaroon ka ng deviation dito or bumaba yung iyong energy head at point 2. So, this value, so alam natin na ito yung magiging head loss niya or yung H sub F. Okay, so again, from the definition of slope, di ba yung slope natin is given by the symbol M sa math subject, pero dito, iyan natin siya, i-denote natin siya as S. So again, this is the hydraulic slope. So alam natin na yung slope mo is rise over run. So, I would name this as our distance L. So, the distance between point 1 and point 2 is our L. So, ang mabubuo mong figure dito, if you're going to connect this. Ayan. So, nakabuo tayo ng shape na triangle. So, again, this is our L. And our rise is the H sub F. So, in short, the hydraulic uh, slope or our slope is equals lang sa HF all over L. So, ito yung isa, magand- ito yung isa sa mga pinamalagang relationship uh, when we consider the Manning's formula. Ngayon, dumao naman tayo sa hydraulic radius. So, guys, yung hydraulic radius natin, that is just the ratio between the area, yung area na nadadaluyan ng tubig. So, for this uh, problem, for pipe, so, we always assume that yung pipe mo is full. Ano? Or ibig sabihin, ito yung area kung saan meron siyang tubig. And yung P mo, that is the wetted perimeter. So since puno yan, so ang wetted perimeter mo is ito. Ayan. Yung kabuuan ng inner diameter. Or ito yung circumference ng ating pipe. Okay? So this Manning's formula is also can be used in open channel. So dyan na papasok yung mga half pool. O, oh, ayan. So, importante na dyan yung definition mo for wetted perimeter. So, for an open channel, so, ang wetted perimeter mo is ito lang. Tama? Okay. So, again, uh, as I've discussed, yung R mo is the ratio between the area nung nadadaluin ng tubig over yung nabasa na portion dun sa pipe. So, with that, ang uh, mangyayari lang dyan, since usually naman, yung pipe natin is in the shape of a circle, so that is pi d squared over 4, all over the perimeter, so alam natin yan na equal sa 2 pi r or equal sa pi d. So, we can cancel out yung pi and yung d, pwede natin cancel sa baba and eto, mababawasan ng isa. So, the hydraulic radius is equivalent lang sa t over 4 for a circular pipe. Okay. So, for this, uh, again, ang kailangan mo lang sa uluhin dito is ito, yung general equation for the Manning's formula for SI unit. 
Okay, so i-derive natin kung paano ba tayo nag-arrive sa equation na to for the head loss. So, nalaman natin na yung hydraulic radius natin is equals lang sa D over 4. So, isa-substitute lang natin siya dito. Ayan, sa R. And yung hydraulic slope mo is just equals lang sa rise over run or the head loss all over L. Kaya naging ganito siya. HF over L raised to 1 half. Ngayon, ang ginawa dito is in-squared natin na uh, both sides. Okay? Para ma-ansal natin itong raised to 1 half na to or yun na a square root. Kasi nga, ang gagawin natin is isosob natin siya in terms of the head loss. So, ngayon, ang kinalabasan ng equation niya, so, syempre, in-squared mo, ito magiging b squared over 1 over n squared, and then d, yung 2 third in the raised mo ng squared, so, nagkaya naging 4 thirds, and then yung denominator niya, yung 4, so, in raise mo rin siya ng, uh, na-array siya ng 2 thirds, and then in-squared mo pa, kaya naging 4 thirds lang din siya, and then hf all over l. So, kapag Krinos multiply mo lang siya, and Krinos post mo yung hf, so, the equation will now become 4 raised to 4 thirds over A times N squared times L times V squared all over D raised to 4 over 3. So, numerical value nito. So, pindutin lang natin sa LQ. So, guys, pa-pindut na lang din para sabay-sabay natin malaman yung value niyan. So, yung 4 raised to 4 divided by 3 is 6.3496. Or dito, ang ginawa niya na lang is the raised i-round up niya to two decimal places. Kaya naging 6.35 n squared L V squared over D raised to 4 over 3. Again, N is just the roughness coefficient. So, ito naman is my table. Depende ulit ito sa type of material na ginamit do sa pipe mo. So, mamaya, papaito ko yung table na yun. V is the flow velocity, L is the pipe length, and D is the pipe diameter. Okay, so dumao naman tayo do sa second variation nito for Manning's formula considering the English unit. So, dito naman ang pinag-uusapan. So, again, yung N natin is a unitless. Ha? So, makikita mo yung roughness coefficient niya dito sa table na to. So, ito yung type of material. So, ibabangga mo lang siya kung ano yung kaakibat na kapartner niya sa roughness coefficient. Yun yung gagamitin mong value for N. So, for example, for copper, yung value ng roughness coefficient niya is 0.011. Okay? L is in terms of feet, V the velocity is in feet per second and the diameter is in terms of feet. Okay, so general equation naman for Manning's formula for English unit is given by this equation. Kung saan V is equals to 1.486 all over N R raised to 2 third S raised to 1 half. So, ganun lang din yung gagawin mo. So, yung R papalta mo ng D over 4 and yung hydraulic slope is papalta mo ng HF all over L. So, again, just square the both sides and then and sunod, you need to solve for HF. So, transpose mo. And, ito yung kaalabasan natin na numerical value. So, try na lang natin pindutin to sa LQ para uh, mabawasan yung oras ng ating video. So, 4 raised to 4 divided by 3. And then, divided by 1.486 squared. So, the value here, ano ba yung napindut nyo? So, napindut ko is 2.875471 something. So, ang ginawa niya na lang ulit dito is in-round up niya to 2 decimal places. Pero I think, uh, mas accurate siya if 2.88 no. Anyway, uh, kung ako naman, kasi nga, ang gamit ko, hindi ko sinasaulo itong mga equation na to. Ang sinasaulo ko lang is ito. So, ito naman, pwede mo nang ship solve, di ba? If you're going to solve for HF. So, para lang mas accurate. So, wala akong tapon sa decimal places. Okay. So, ang sunod na formula, so kagaya nga nung ginawa doon sa naunang formula, yun sa Darcy Wishback formula. So, paano naman daw kapag ang given is in terms of the flow rate? So, again, yung fabulate nating formula. So, di ba Q is equals to cross-sectional area times the velocity? So, ganun lang din ang gagawin mo. Ay, yung V, uh, papalta mo siya in terms of Q over area. So, ipaita natin sa sunod na slide. And so, ito yung magiging another variation ng formula in terms of flow rate. So, ito, uh, this equation and this equation. But then again, kung ako sa inyo, yung general equation na lang yung sasauling ko. And then, papaltang ko na lang siya as long as ang alam mo na yung hydraulic radius mo is D over 4. Yung iyong head law, uh, sorry, yung iyong hydraulic slope is just equals lang sa rise over run or HF over L. 
and yung Q is equals to A times V. So, yun lang. And derivable naman yung mga formulas na yan. So, kahit yung general equation ng sa uluhin mo. So, at least for this Manning's formula, ilan ba yung kailangan sa uluhin? So, di ba anim? So, instead of anim, dalawa na lang yung sa uluhin mo. Ito, at saka ito. Okay? So, nasa sa inyo. Kung kayo naman is magaling magsaulo, sa ulo nyo yung anim para direct substitution na siya. Pero kung kayo ay kagaya ko na hirap magsaulo, so as long as madali naman yung derivation. So, doon na lang ako sa dalawa. At least, dalawa lang yung sasauluhin ko. ba diba? So, i-discuss lang natin to. So, if, if ang given sa inyo is in terms of Q nga, so ganun lang din, knowing that ito yung na-derive nating equation, yung 6.35n squared LB squared over D raised to 4 over 3, and knowing that new flow rate mo is Q, is equals to A times B, and when we solve for B, that is equals to Q over A lang. So, that's just substitute that in the equation for B. And then, since na squared yan, and expand mo lang yung area as pi D squared over 4, and then, ayun, i-distribute mo lang, so yung denominator mo is magiging D raised to 16 over 3, and then yung numerical value, or yung pipindutin natin sa alkyo. So, i-check lang natin ha, kung ano yung kaalabasan nito. Ah... Uh, value na to. So, pindutin natin sa LQ sabay-sabay. So, 6.35 times 4 divided by pi squared. So, ano lumabas sa inyo? So, napindot ko guys is 10.29423226. So, ang ginawa niya na lang ulit dito is niround off niya to two decimal places. So, the equation in terms of Q for the Manning's formula. So, the head loss is equals to 10.29 n squared LQ squared over D raised to 16 over 3. Where yung Q mo is in flow rate and yung unit niya is in cubic meter per second. Again, this is only applicable for SI unit. And for English unit, meron din siyang corresponding equation. So, ganun lang din yung gagawin, guys. So, hindi ko na i-discuss. Alam nyo na naman to. So, yung head loss formula niya in terms of Q is 4.65 times n squared LQ squared over D raised to 16 over 3 where yung flow rate niya is in terms of cubic feet per second. Okay? Okay, so for our third uh, major head loss uh, equation, so ito yung tinatawag na Hazen-Williams equation. So this equation was discovered by an American engineer na sina Alan Hazen and Gardner Stuart Williams noong 19th century. So guys, ito yung pinakagamit na equation for a major head loss. Okay? So sa mga design ng uh, hydraulic system, sa ayun nga, sa water distribution system na mga design, ito yung kadalasan na ginagamit. Okay, so katulad do sa mga nauna, meron tayong dalawang equation for SI units and for English units. And same lang din naman ang principle ito if in case na ang ibigay sa inyo is yung velocity niya, as long as alam nyo yung equation for flow rate na Q is equals to A times the velocity. So, ayun lang. Isasubstitute nyo lang siya dito in terms of this equation. Okay? So, for SI units, ang equation natin is 10.67 multiplied by L, which is the length of the pipe, Q, the flow rate, over C. Ito yung Hazen williams constant. So, ito guys, as meron ding table, kagaya do sa kay Manning's formula, meron siyang table na titingnan. Uh, depende rin to sa type ng material. Ano? So, again, this is a unitless. So, titingnan mo lang siya sa table and kung ano yung tapatan niya na kapareho niyang material, so yun lang yung pipiliin niyo sa table. D is the diameter of the pipe. Again, this is just the nominal diameter. And for English units, so ganun lang din. Ang napalta lang naman dito is yung first, ano niya, yung numerical value. So, for English, that is 4.73 LQ raised to 1.85 over C raised to 1.85 times D raised to 4.87. From where, again, isulat lang ulit natin, yung L mo is the length of the pipe. So, if that is in SI, so it is either in meter and for English, that is in feet. Q is our flow rate. Ayan. 
kung saan yung unit niya in SI is in cubic meter per second and for English unit, that will be cubic feet per second. C, again, is the Hazen-William constant. So, this is a constant. So, refer to the table. Or sometimes sa mga problems, guys, usually naman binibigay ito. Ano? Kung hindi ibigay sa inyo yung table, dapat ibigay yung value ng C. And D is the nominal diameter of the five. Okay, so I hope clear tayo dito. So again, just memorize these two equations and eto. Just in case na ang given is in terms of ano, velocity. Next, uh, eto nga, ito yung sinasabi kong table sa inyo. So, meron dito yung mga Hazen-William coefficient. So, ito yung different types of material na ginagamit sa isang hydraulic system. So, ipipili lang ay dyan and itatapat nyo. So, kung nasa inyong corresponding value, so yun yung pipili nyo na value. Okay, so just refer to this table. And again, if hindi given, i-indicate naman sa problem yan. Okay, so to summarize yung mga major head loss formula natin or equation. Ito yung mga equation na gagamitin. No? So for Darcy Witchback, ito yung equation na gagamitin. So ito naman is equivalent lang sa 0 0.0826 of FLQ squared over T raised to 5. Again, nakuha lang naman to using the relationship for the flow rate. Q is equals to A times V. So, mining formula. So, meron ka nito. And for Hazen William formula, ito siya. So, this is in SI lang. So, hindi ko na lang sinulat yung ano. Since limited lang din naman yung space natin. So, ito lang yung re nyo. So, another tip pala guys. Uh, yung palatandaan ko kasi dito before, uh, binabase ko siya doon sa tawag ng equation. So, katulad nito, sa Manning's equation, so, yung Mannings natin, kung mapapansin nyo, ba Manning. Meron siyang letter N. So, meron siyang constant na N. Sa Hazen William, so Hazen. So, yung Zen, parang letter C siya. So, ito yung palatandaan ko. And kay Darcy Witchback, so basta meron siya yung friction factor na F. So, yun lang. Na-share ko lang. And guys, dito sa lecture na to, dininote natin yung major head loss as HF. Kasi doon sa susunod na slide, i-discuss rin natin yung mga minor head loss. Okay? Okay.